Good morning children. Now that we know how to plot various points on the graph paper having different coordinates. So let us learn how to draw a line graph. Line graph is more suitable to display data which changes continuously over the period of time. For example, profit of a company. We can see how the value changes over the period of time from this line graph. So, line graph is ideal for showing growth or fall in the value of variable over time. How to construct a line graph? We construct a line graph by joining various points. So, a line graph consists of bits of line segments joined consecutively. So now, let us draw a line graph. For this, we need a graph paper like this, a pencil and a ruler. First of all, we need to draw the two axes which are perpendicular to each other. The horizontal axis which is called x-axis and the vertical axis which is called y-axis. Now, we look at the given data. A train started from a station and after one minute it reached the speed of 20 km per hour. After two minutes its speed was 30 km per hour. After three minutes of starting its speed was 45 km. It kept on moving at the same speed till the fifth minute. Then brakes were applied to reduce the speed. On sixth minute its speed became 20 km per hour and on seventh minute starting from the previous station it reached the next station and stopped which means its speed became zero. Now we label the x-axis for time in minutes and the y-axis for speed in kilometers per hour. Time wise we have data till 7 minutes only but the train speed went up to 45 kilometers per hour. So here we have to label y axis at least till 45. If we consider the value of the side of the bigger square as one unit then y axis would be too long at least 45 units long so 45 squares required as we need to show speed up to 45 kilometers this would require the graph paper to be too long hence here we assume the side of the bigger square as showing 10 kilometers per hour thus we would be able to represent 45 units by just using five big squares vertically on the y-axis. Along the x-axis, we increase the value by one minute for one bigger square, meaning one unit is equal to one-tenth of a minute as a side of a bigger square having ten units. We did this because we have to go till seven minutes only. Now we look at the coordinates of the points. We need to plot seven points in this graph. The coordinates are 120, 230, 345 and then as the train kept on moving at the same speed till the fifth minute, it means on fourth and fifth minute its speed was 45 hours too. So the next two points are 4.45 and 5.45. Then brakes were applied and its speed dropped to 20 km per hour at 6th minute. Thus the next point to be plotted is 6.20 meaning 6 on the x-axis and 20 on the y-axis. Lastly at the 7th minute it came to a stop again. This is the last point to be plotted which is 7, 0. Meaning x coordinate of this point is 7, 
and y coordinate is 0. So let's plot the 7 points. Then we join a point with its next point using a ruler. We join first point with point 0, 0 meaning the point at which the x-axis and the y-axis meet. Why? Because train started from 0 and the start time count was 0, 2. So, we start the graph from the point 0, 0 where the x and the y-axis meet. So, now seeing this graph, we can easily understand how the train speed changed over the time. You know, sometimes the whole graph may be an unbroken line like this. This graph shows how much distance a car covers over a given period of time. Look here, we joined several points to form this graph. But we got a single straight line as all the points were collinear. This type of line graph is called a linear graph. So now you know what is a linear graph too. So that was all about how to draw linear graph and also in general line graphs. That was all for today. Bye bye children.